Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a video on painting my rear shock spring. Uh, the spring comes from my CR125. And um, so this video is not exactly a tutorial, even though I will be showing the steps as to how I painted it, but more of an experiment or a test to see how the paint will hold up. Uh, so basically, I want to paint this spring, but I want to do it for cheap, so I'm not going to powder coat it. Uh, I'm going to be using a spray paint. And uh, what I'm testing here is to see when the shock compresses, will the paint uh, flake? or when it gets hit by a rock, will it chip? So um, I don't know, this is my first time doing it and uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so to paint the spring, I'm gonna be using a paint remover. This is by Sunnyside. You can really use any abrasive thing. Um, this I think is just gonna take the least amount of effort, so I'm gonna go with paint remover. I'm also gonna be using some Scotch-Brite and uh, wire brushes. Uh, for paint, I'm using all deeply color. Uh, so deeply color base coat. Uh, my color coat, which is supposed to be an anodized like gunmetal, and then a top coat. So let's get started. All right, guys. It's the next day. Um, I got all the paint off. Uh, I didn't actually use a scotch brush or a wire brush as much as I thought. The paint remover didn't work so well, so I ended up resorting to 80 grit and then 120 grit, and that worked really well actually. Um, I also used a Dremel tool with a wire brush to get these tight areas down here. And um, after that, I did go to an angle brush, I mean, sorry, a wire brush and then scotch brush after to get it a little bit smoother again. But um, it worked pretty well, but you could tell that I got the outside pretty much bare metal. Inside still has uh, the bottom coat, it's yellow and then the bottom coat, and that's still on there. Just because it's really hard to reach in there, but I don't think it's going to affect the paint that much. I mean, you never know what your paint's going to adhere to, so I'm just going to try. I think it's going to work, but yeah. Alright, so the shellac is already pretty buffed up from the scotch brite. Uh, so now I'm just going to clean it. I'm going to clean it with degreaser and um, isopurpyl. This is 91%. I would use acetone, but I don't have any acetone at the moment, so... Okay, so the spring is all clean. It's buffed up from the scotch bites, so and now I'm going to start painting it. Uh, I'm going to first paint it with my base coat. So. Alright, so that's my first coat done. Um, it looks pretty nice, pretty thin. Uh, I'm going to wait 20 minutes to get my second coat in, but I did get a little drippage right here it's not very noticeable but I mean if it flans out when it dries I won't sand it but if it doesn't I'm gonna sand it and repaint the area no big deal so I'll get back in 20 minutes all right third coat Okay, so it's been a little over an hour since I put on the base coat. Now I'm going to put on the color coat finally. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so that is coat one done. Uh, I'm not sure if it can show up on the camera if it looks any different from the base coat, but it looks really cool right now. It's a, it is like a gunmetal black, and uh, I really like it. So. Okay, so it's been about an hour since my last color coat, and now we are finally ready for some top coat. Uh, this is clear top coat by Deeply Color, and uh, this is the final thing you have to do. Okay, so we're finally coming to our last few coats here. 
Uh, I'm really glad, and I'm, I'm really liking how this is turning out, because this top coat is giving it a shine. I'm guessing when it dries out, it's going to turn into a little bit more matte, which I'm fine with. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice right now. Alright guys, so it's now 7 days later, that's the amount of time the can said it would take to fully cure. Seems like a long time, but I didn't really want to take any chances. So if you look at it, I think it looks a lot better than the stock yellow paint. It's got a nice pearlescent to it, it's got some metal streaks in there, and I think it looks really cool. So now it's just a question of how will it hold up. So like I said before, when the shock compresses, will uh, the paint flake off or get, when it gets hit by a rock? It seems pretty strong right now. Uh, I was I just dropped it a minute ago and it didn't really flake or chip that much. It was up here, so I left a little mark, but nothing big. Uh, so yeah, let's get this mounted. Alright guys, it's now a few weeks later since installing the rear shock. Um, I've been on a few rides with the bike and honestly the worst conditions because where I ride it's just small pellets of rock and yeah, looking at this shock, there's literally no damage. It's got some dust on it because I just got back from a ride a minute ago. Um, but yeah, there's no damage on the shock, no flakes, no cracks. So um, yeah, this kind of concludes my video um, with the paint that I use or the spray paint. Uh, there's it, it worked really well, and I'd recommend you do it for me. It was a lot cheaper than powder coating. So Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and uh, I hope you try this out